I got my camera back. Super excited. But before I talk about the camera and my issues with it and how I dealt with it, uh, I want to give you a little bit of introduction as to why I went with a dedicated Astro camera. Um, I covered this in another video, but I think it's worth it for me to briefly go over the reasons again for, uh, for beginners and you know, those of you guys who are looking to make the transition. So when I started astrophotography back in August or maybe even September of 2020, it was after the Neowise craze. Uh, I was using a normal DSLR and uh, I, to this day, I still recommend everybody who is starting out or considering to get into astrophotography to just use a normal digital camera. May that be a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. Um, because number one, I think most of us has one of these cameras laying around. Uh, number two, um, they, 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 have a, uh, they have a screen, they have a display for you to look at, which makes everything in the world of astrophotography so much easier. Uh, you can use it to polar align if you are, um, if you're not able to see Polaris, you can use it to uh, do your star alignment, which is super easy, and you can easily use your camera to help you frame stuff. Um, and most importantly, I think most of us know how to use a digital camera at this point. So that's one thing that you don't have to stress about when you know starting out the journey of astrophotography. You can spend the rest of your time figuring out how to use mount, filter, and the post-processing um, of, your, of your pictures. Now, sometime early last year, I believe it was February or maybe even January, I started to look into the benefits of a dedicated astro camera because although a DSLR or a mirrorless camera is a great start, they were still primarily designed to be used for normal daytime photography. And normal daytime photography has exposures, I want to say most have less than 10 seconds, but for astrophotography, we're talking on the scale of minutes when it comes to exposure. So a normal DSLR or mirrorless camera was never designed to be used for astrophotography because of the long exposure required. So um, I started to look into dedicated astro camera with this cooling feature that will uh, help minimize noise as I increase the exposure time for a lot of the uh, deep sky object that I like to capture. And the one thing I wanted to keep from my days using the Canon 60D was the APS-C sensor size. And I also wanted to have, you know, the latest technology when it comes to sensor, uh, at least consumer sensor. Um, and that was the Sony IMX571. And so I started looking into, well, which camera has that sensor? And three camera bodies has the same sensor, uh, the ZWO2600, the Alter Astro 26 line that I'm holding on to right now, and the QHY268. And I was looking at the classifieds on cloudy nights and one of the Ast uh, Alter Astro 26C became available. And so I bought it. The, uh, the Sony IMX571 sensor really needs no further introduction because if you're in the world of astrophotography or you're following it, I'm sure by now you've seen images from this sensor because anyone that is using the sensor will tell you that it is, it is an amazing sensor. And you can find the sensor, as I mentioned earlier, in three camera bodies from the three major camera manufacturer. There may be another one, but I'm not too familiar with them, so I'm not gonna talk about them. Um, you can find this Sony IMX 571 sensor, APS-C size in the, uh, in the ZWO brand. I uh, believe the camera is 2600, and then obviously the Alter Astro 26 line and the QHY268 line. Now, from what I've seen, 
all of these cameras are basically the same. They differ in the looks, the paint, and maybe, you know, the software implementation, but, you know, they're using the same sensor. They have similar cooling capacity. And the only thing that's different between the, between the three of them, I believe, is really the buffer size, which in normal astrophotography doesn't really matter unless you're doing videos and you're doing and you're capturing videos for planetary imaging. Um, and they may differ in software implementation. I went with the Alter Astro, and luckily enough, Nina already has software built in for. Uh, Alter Astro. Um, I, I don't know if that's true for ZWO or QHY, but honestly, all three, <laughs> all three cameras are basically the same. So the problem that I'm discussing in this video um, is the. I, I honestly, I think by now is probably the infamous oil leak um, on your sensor. So I started using the camera, uh, I believe June of last year. Um, and I tried to use it as regularly as, as I could. Uh, obviously the first month or two was, uh, I, got no image out of, I got no images out of it because I was learning how to use a camera still. Uh, but even beyond that, uh, last year was really rough for astrophotography in San Francisco because we just got um, we got months and months of clouds and fog and it was really frustrating because we don't have a forecast for fog so even if all the uh, if all the weather app says it's going to be clear fog will show up and um, I wasn't going to image and I tried to use it as much as I could but I don't think I got too many pictures out of the, out of the camera uh, when I had it and by late November around Thanksgiving time when things were clearing up I noticed that there was a, uh, uh, a residue or some sort of liquid on the surface of my camera sensor and uh, I couldn't use it anymore because when I tried to image uh, I would see the shadows or the markings of the residue on my pictures So the Sony IMX oil leak or residue leak onto the sensor, is that is it a common problem? Um, it kind of depends on how you look at it. Now, when I'm talking about the Sony IMX sensor, I'm actually going to talk about across the three major, uh, the three major camera manufacturers and, you know, their own offering of the sensor. And so I know for a fact that, you know, I've seen many reports from the ZWO owner, the ZWO community, um, that they've reported issues with their 2600 uh, with oil leak on the sensor. But I want to say this, that I don't think it's an issue of the ZWO um, quality control or build quality. I really think it's a matter of statistics. Uh, it just comes down to the math. ZWO is by far the more dominant uh, brand on the market and so obviously they have a lot more camera bodies in people's hands, they have more volumes, so it would make sense that if there's an issue, more people owning the same that camera would report it just because there's more of them out there. Now, strangely enough, according to Alter Astro, I was the first person to report this issue with the Alter Astro 26C. Um, again, this I think this is a matter of statistics. Not many of us own the Alter Astro version. And to this day, I haven't seen anybody reporting an issue with the QHY 268. Um, once again, I, I don't think many people own the QHY version. It's just that the ZWO brand dominates the market. So people naturally gravitates towards ZWO first and they buy their camera. But um, I, I do see enough of the ZWO community reporting this issue when it comes to their 
2600 camera. Oh, by the way, if anyone here watching has a ZWO 2600 camera, either monochrome or camera version, please comment in the, uh, in the, in the comment section below and, mean, and let me know if you're dealing with this issue and how you dealt with it. I look forward to hear from you. So by the time I found out about my issue, it was Thanksgiving, early December. How did I deal with it? Well, I started looking online to see, you know, what other people's experiences were. Now, obviously I saw nobody with the Alter Astro version that has the same issue as I did. So I relied on the ZWO community and, and wanted to see what they did to deal with the issue. And it was sort of alarming for me to see that a lot of them had to open up their camera bodies to, um, well, to essentially wipe clean the sensor themselves and then reseal it themselves. Now, I, I cracked open my Canon 60D for modification purposes, not for repairing. And my Canon 60D, when I bought it used, it was 150 US dollars. So relatively speaking, uh, speaking, <laughs> um, relatively speaking, this was dirt cheap compared to what I paid for the Author Astro 26C. So there was no way in hell that I was going to crack this open and try to repair it myself. Um, so what I did was I contacted Author Astro and I told them about the issue. I sent them pictures and they responded back to me uh, in a very timely fashion and basically forbidden me from opening it up. Um, they, they basically demanded me to send this back so they can fix it and they can address it. And I think most of all, they wanted to, they wanted to study it because I was the first one to report it. I sent the camera back to Alter Astro in UK and within about a week's time, I heard back from them that you know, they inspected my camera and they were able to determine the issue. And it turns out to be, uh, it was an assembly error. There was nothing wrong with the sensor, or to be honest, there was nothing wrong with the camera itself, but it was an assembly error that allowed the uh, thermal paste, which was supposed to conduct heat, but um, I guess there was something wrong with the thermal paste that uh, the paste itself separated from, um, from, from I, I guess, I guess the heat sink of the camera, uh, the camera sensor, and some of the thermal paste eventually leaked onto the camera sensor itself, which was what I saw when I saw some liquid residue on my sensor. So. Alter Astro also told me how they were going to address the problem and remedy the issue. And they told me that moving forward, all cameras will be addressed in two folds. Uh, number one, that the assembly deficiency has been identified and they're going to address it. I don't really know what that means. It sounds really vague, but it sounds like the camera will be, uh, will be better inspected and that it will be, it's going to be put together in a more durable manner. Cool. Now the second method, uh, the second way that they're going to address the issue is that they're going to, they're going to use a different thermal paste for, I guess, the heat sink so that the thermal paste will no longer separate and leak onto the camera sensor. Um, I think that's really cool. Um, and I, and I, and I want to thank them for being transparent and, telling me exactly how they're going to address it. That's awesome. Well, what about existing owners um, who are just discovering this problem or maybe you have this problem later on um, after you buy the camera? Well, they told me that, you know, as long as your camera hasn't been tampered with and you, you know, you haven't messed with it. As a matter of fact, I think uh, there's a sign here that says, do not unscrew, then if it's within the two year warranty, you can send the camera back to Alter Astro UK and they will rebuild your camera for free. 
Well, what about those of us who are out of warranty? I don't think many of us are going to be out of warranty for this camera because it's basically brand new. Um, but if somehow you are out of warranty, um, then Alter Astro will still rebuild your camera, but it will come at a cost. And I, I now this is not a plug for Alter Astro. This is just my personal opinion, having dealt with them, having, having communicated with them. I think it's super awesome that they stand by their product, even though it probably doesn't look good for them that, you know, hey, you, they release a product that has issues, but they stand by it and they will address it. And I just think that's super awesome because let's face it, these cameras are really expensive. And when it stops working, my heart sank when I realized that my camera was dead in the water. So yeah, I just wanted to thank Alter Astro for standing by and providing adequate support for their products. Thank you, Alter Astro. This is the part of the video where I kind of have to, well, not kind of, I'm going to get on ZWO's case because of how they're dealing with this Sony IMX sensor leak. Now, I want to stress that I don't personally own a ZWO dedicated Astro camera, definitely not the 2600 with the Sony IMX 571, but I have seen their response and I have heard and seen other people in, within the ZWO community and how they're dealing with it. And their response is basically, yeah, we're aware of this issue. Here's how you, the consumer, can fix it. We'll provide the guide. You just do the work yourself. I'm sorry, what? You want your paying customers to crack open their expensive, short supply, and difficult to get camera because you had a manufacturing issue? I'm sorry, ZWO, but a paying customer should never have to open up their gadget to make a repair. A repair that is a necessity because you overlooked some aspect during the manufacturing process. I cracked open my Canon 60D to make a modification to add features that I personally desired that was not within the design of the original camera. And I knew that if I crack it open, if this camera was brand new at the time, I would avoid the warranty. So you want your customer to risk damaging their camera because let's face it not all of us are equipped in gear and knowledge to crack open a camera and make a repair so that's kind of like saying you bought a brand new car there's something wrong with the engine instead of going through with a recall you tell your cust you you send your customers a repair manual and you ask them to drop the motor themselves and fix it. Hell no, ZWO. Hell no. Now that I'm done talking about ZWO, I guess I really want to just thank Alter Astro once again for, you know, sticking by the product and providing adequate support for their customers. Um, a, a manufacturer support definitely goes a long way when it comes to purchasing decision. I, I know from this point on, for any additional astrophotography equipment, I think I'm going to consider Alter Astro first, just because of this extremely positive customer service that I have with them. And I want to thank them for clearly stating what happened with the camera, how they're going to fix it, how they're going to prevent future issues 
and what existing customers can do should they come across the same issue. Before I end the video, I actually want to say that Alter Astro didn't actually send back my 26C, the color version. Instead, I asked if I could use this opportunity, opportunity to upgrade at a cost to the Alter Astro 26M, the monochrome version. And I want to thank Alter Astro for helping me out with that exchange. And um, well, I guess official, I am officially in the monochrome game now, which is super exciting and super terrifying. I'll go into more details about that in, in another video. But I hope that this video was helpful to you if you're considering the Sony IMX571 sensor, or if you've had issues with it, uh, let me know how you dealt with it in the comment section. And holy crap, I'm doing monochrome now. <laughs> super exciting and super terrifying at the same time. But I hope that you found this video useful and I hope that you will like my first ever monochrome image. Anyways, I wish you all good health and clear skies, everyone. Take care. Bye.